squirrel, 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 squirrel. Squirrel, 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 squirrel. Come on, squirrel. Hey, squirrel, no, don't run away. Come back. Hey, guys, this is the city of Ottawa. Ottawa is a freezing cold city and here you'll see I'm under a bridge at the moment um, this is a canal that runs straight through the heart of Ottawa uh, it's usually full of water but during the winter time they drop the water levels down to about two or three feet and then they uh, they wait for it to freeze and then they can ice skate through the whole city so uh, apparently people ice skate to work which is, uh, I find it a little bit hard to believe, but apparently it is. And it turns into the largest ice skating rink in the world. And this is connected to a series of locks which run up from the river and it connects to one of the Great Lakes. Uh, it's still one of the oldest uh, operating locks in the world, I think. They still hand operate these locks to open and close the gates. Um, and you can see it's banked by a motel at the moment but what they used it for is during the Civil War where the English uh, wanted to invade or wanted to sneak in to uh, America without getting noticed they actually came up and hand built this lock from scratch so just to avoid the American I'm hoping I'm getting this story right, it's from memory. Uh, just to avoid, avoid going up the, uh, the main river that borders America and Canada. So, yep, there's a hotel there, and you've got the Parliament building on the other side, which is pretty close to the lock itself. Um, I don't think it actually got used in the time of war, so you got the hand winches there. But it's still very impressive. And here we have Parliament, oh, the Parliament building, Parliament buildings. You got one there. You've got the main one here, which um, isn't really that impressive. This is my history lesson because um, it actually got burnt down and rebuilt. So the main original part of the structure the library is at the back and then you've got another building there so Ottawa is basically a um, a government city so all your government offices there's no industry here whatsoever it's basically just government buildings um, but it's still a massive uh, city it's all covered with parklands as well and a working farm in the center which is incredible <laughs> 